Hey guys, so I saw this video going around YouTube a while ago and I didn't feel to do it because I don't usually do videos like this and it's not really like me to just list facts about myself. But um, Love Laifa tagged me and the li her channel link will be below. I have shouted her out before but please do go and check out her channel. Um, she did hers and I really enjoyed hers but I could only think about 25 things about me and also I'm not the type of person to just dish out like facts about myself like I'm just not that type of person so I hope you enjoy I halved it down to 25 facts so let's get, let's get into it let's get started the fact is I love Jesus food is my weakness I love cookie dough from Pizza Hut and people have said that it's really rich but to me that richness is what gets me I just love it I had to um, I have to take a break from it actually I just need to because it, there was a point where I was getting it like every week so yeah that's obviously not healthy I have two brothers and two sisters. I believe in rehabilitation, which is why I studied um, criminology and I want to get into working within the criminal justice system, preferably probation. I know some people like the summer heat, but extreme summer heat really does get to me. It makes me just tired and I just feel fed up and annoyed. So yeah, when it gets too, too hot, it can be annoying it's one thing to be on holiday though because you know you're going there for the sun and you're not doing everyday things like having to go to work or having to run errands but when you're in your hometown and it's hot it just feels really annoying i've only been to nigeria twice i am an introvert i am definitely an advocate for natural beauty and i believe in just flaunting what god gave us and being happy with it and trying our best to be content and believing that God made us beautiful is definitely key. I have a good spirit of discernment. I am almost towards the end of my master's degree in criminology and I must say it has been a big experience and I'll just draw upon that when I graduate. I think I'll just talk about some of my experiences if some of you are interested. The most lost place I've been in in my life where I've just felt totally lost and totally like wondering like who I am and like what am I good at is when I actually graduated from my first degree. In my first degree I studied psychology and sociology and at that point I actually didn't know what I wanted to do but I know that I wanted to do social sciences so I just went to university and I definitely wanted to go to university as well and parents encouraged me that that's the best way to go so I did that and then when I graduated like I was just going from job to job not really knowing what I wanted to do I was at that point like growing closer to God as I am now but I was just on a different level and I was just praying reading my bible trying to find myself and eventually I decided what I wanted to do which is what I'm I'm getting into now which is why I just did my master's in criminology and all I can say is that it's by the grace of God because I was praying and praying about it going from job to job not really being happy not really fe feeling fulfilled but the blessing is, is that I learned along the way about life and just different jobs experiences and just helped me to kind of dissect what I did and did not want to do I have been to Spain twice it took me about two years to pass my driving test and I must say it was because of like choosing bad agencies for driving instructors. I, I just got the ones that just wanted the money and wanted to prolong the process. Oh, I failed twice as well. It was just a disaster. But on the third time, I was just so happy to get my driving license and now um, I'm just, I've got some money saved up and I want to buy a car. So I'm really, really excited for that actually. I'll probably do some car vlogs, but... I held out, now it's been two years since I passed actually and I haven't driven for that time but I really feel like driving is a skill that you, because it takes so much blood, sweat and tears to learn, I think it's something that you definitely remember and I think when I get my car I'll probably just go with my parents, one of my parents, whoever's free and have a drive around, just kind of like have someone in the car with me because I haven't driven for such a long time but I, in the time I was driving I really really enjoyed driving. But I think the key to getting your first car, especially if your finances aren't where you're, you want them to be, is to get a car with a small engine. I was advised 1.0 or something like that. But yeah, I definitely want to get a small car because like, I don't have children and yeah, I think it's very practical for me to do that. But yeah, it took me two years, guys. Please tell me your experiences. Did it take you that long? 
as a child um, I know this is something that is very common actually being on YouTube I learned that I wasn't the only one but when I was a little girl I used to put like a cloth on my head and like pretend that I had long flowy hair like I, that was shown in the adverts because that was all that was represented and that's why the natural hair movement was created because little girls often feel insecure that they have to be like what they see around them and when you're when you're in a racist environment then sometimes unfortunately that's the case the longest that I've ever grown my hair was below shoulder blades I think that's the longest my hair has ever been in my life actually I absolutely love Nigerian films they make me laugh they make me happy and they just remind me of my culture and where my parents are from I just really enjoy them and especially when they have like a biblical message behind the story I really find them engaging and interesting I really actually like Mr. Ibu as one of my favorite um, actors I don't know he's just so silly and so oh I just like him I really like his acting I've never actually worn a weave before I'm 24 I know I look younger than my age but yes I'm 24 going on 25 when I actually got the tattoos that I have got I wasn't actually close to God I got them in my teens actually and I remember just as a child really wanting the experience of what these people on TV were talking about I wanted to feel that pain and I did I got I got my tattoos and now if I had to do it again I wouldn't do it again because of the fact that it's against what is said in the Bible and actually I'm quite happy that I stopped where I stopped because I was actually wanting to get more but then I felt convicted because I was getting close to God and I decided that I wasn't going to get any more I actually know some people with like sleeves you know like where they get the whole arm done and then they decide that they want to get close to God so I'm glad that I wasn't someone that actually got a sleeve but I am not happy with my decisions and of course when you make your decisions you have to consider the future and that's definitely something that I've learnt. So be wise in your choices and consider what you believe in or just, just really take the time to think about making decisions because sometimes you may find that you have to live with certain decisions that you've made and I'm okay living with my tattoos but a bit disappointed because if I had to do it again I wouldn't do them at all. In a way I feel like I'm a perfectionist, I like getting things done properly and I don't know, I, I just feel like I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I think you guys know this one, but my nails are always done. In the daytime, after I've had my bath, I use shea butter on my face, and that's straight from Nigeria. And at night time, I wash my face and I use vitamin E oil. I love the camera, <laughs> which is one of the motivators for actually starting YouTube and my past model in life. I've always liked the camera. I actually do an eight minutes exercise. Um, I got it from YouTube and I do it as I, I watch it as I do it for motivation. And I'll actually link this exercise below. But it's really difficult though, because I haven't actually worked out for a while. And when it comes to like the hop hop squat, I just have to take a break and pause because that burn, I need to get used to feeling that burn. So that was my 25 facts video. I'm going to tag a couple of people to actually do this. I hope you guys take part. But of course you don't have to if you don't feel like sharing things about you, of course. And I'll be interested if you do this video, if you have done this video, please let me know. I'd like to see what you guys are saying. But I hope you enjoyed this quick video and I'll see you soon. More hair videos soon, yeah. Don't worry about that, I've got you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. God bless.